Taub here, coming to you from nextlevelguitar.com. How are you today? Hope your guitar journey is going well, and hope you are kicking butt and taking names. Uh, what we have uh, today is we're doing some more gear reviews, and we thought we would uh, do something a little different, but yet fun. Uh, what I have here is a Rogue Sitar, and this is a copy of a very famous sitar made by the Coral Company, uh, which is basically Dan Electro. Um, that was famous for making those uh, Masonite guitars. And um, uh, Steve Howe from Yes. In fact, I saw a picture of him playing the actual choral sitar. And basically what this is, is it kind of like gives a guitar player a ability to get a sitar sound without really learning how to play sitar. Like, because it's tuned like a guitar, like a, in standard tuning. You can, can kind of tune it. Right? So you can kind of get some sitar sounds without really learning to play the sitar per se, you know, uh, which is a totally different instrument, right? Um, so I, I really don't know how to play this, but I just thought I would kind of bang it around uh, for you and, um, you know, kind of show you that um, you can kind of get that sitar sound if you're a guitar player and uh, out of one of these copies. These are still available today. Now this is made by, like I said, Rogue, and it has the drone strings up top, and you have to tune those, and this isn't in tune right now. You have to tune these with a special wrench to tighten them, um, but you can kind of... Here are all the different pitches that the drone strings uh, will do. Um, and it has the lipstick pickups, so famous in uh, many Dan Electro guitars. Um, and then it has your regular six strings, like a uh, standard uh, electric guitar. Um, has this kind of bridge piece here. It looks like made out of masonite or carbon of some type. Uh, has three screw holes where like a pick guard used to be. Masonite body uh, with this crackle, kind of red crackle kind of finish. It's very smooth. And then you have all your controls for your drone strings and volume and whatnot. Um, has this little cover so you can put your arm here and you don't have to hit the strings. Input, back of the guitar. Here's your electronics get to here. Four bolt kind of neck. And then you have a uh, big frets, right? And uh, the Rogue headstock with your six on a side tuners and I guess you could tune this in various tunings that happens to be tuned to standard tuning um, chords really don't sound all that great with it maybe you could do something interesting but more for like octave picking and uh, single notes you can kinda you know get some kinda fun sounds out of it so my whole thought our whole thought on doing one of these on a sitar type guitar instrument is just to say hey you know you might want to experiment with all different kinds of instruments and you know how much as guitar players that creating music on guitar brings so much joy um, maybe a, a similar instrument or one of these can open up the pathways to some really cool things and a lot of bands from rock bands to to everything have used like Metallica used some sitar in some of their songs and lots of other bands have done that and um, it's kind of cool. You can kind of get some cool tones. I'll just kind of noodle around again. The drone strings really... I don't have them in tune with the six string. So I'll just kind of play some scales and you can kind of... You can kind of hear... Kind of hear the sounds. Um, there was a song in the 60s, a song, uh, Green Tambourine by the Lemon Pipers had the sitar that was uh, pretty famous, uh, kind of before my time, but from what my uh, researchers and producers tell me, <laughs> like I have researchers and producers, right, uh, um, uh, that that was a pretty famous song for having the, the sitar or the sitar copy on it. Um, <laughs>
into uh, doing this, they're just handing me instruments and saying, play, David, play. But uh, I really don't know what I'm doing on this thing, but I don't know. Just thought I'd bang out some sounds so you can kind of check it out. Maybe a harmonic minor scale would sound kind of cool because it's uh, got that kind of Middle Eastern flair. It's natural minor scale with a raised seventh, but... Uh <laughs> Our players out there, I mean you no disrespect at all uh, by picking this thing up. Again, I'm just trying to open the doors up and mu the musical pathways in, in these gear demos. <laughs> Um, uh, module I was playing through a 59 Ampeg Reverber Rocket 2 Amp. Uh, very cool in this uh, speckle finish, which you don't see a lot. You, you mostly see like the, the, the small checkerboard finish on the Ampeg amps. This one's kind of cool, tube, all original. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for putting up with my uh, sitar playing, which I really wouldn't even call sitar playing, more like just ridiculously trying to find a lick that sounds somewhat cool. And, uh, you know, you could probably, they still make these. You could pick these up for a couple hundred bucks and uh, experiment with it and have some fun. Maybe put it in an intro or an interlude in one of your songs. Or maybe you can even come up with a cool melody and, and write something around it. Um, but again, just, you know, don't close yourself off to other instruments, no matter what they are, because it's all about, you know, making music and creating emotion and passion in your in your music no matter what instrument you're you're playing with right so hope you enjoyed that this is david taub from uh, nextlevelguitar.com check out our website um, and enjoy our videos and if you're watching this on youtube um, and you like it hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, we'll notify you when we have more youtube videos coming out so thanks again for watching and uh, to add more insult to injury uh, why not uh, kick on the tremolo on the amp and uh, be totally blasphemous and please, you sitar players, uh, don't send me any hate mail. <laughs> and uh, let's see what this sounds like with some tremolo added, too. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Sounding like a jackass? No, it was good. You got some good moments in there. Ugh.